Today, I'm going to be covering these structures with this netting. Now, this netting is notoriously hard and difficult stuff to work with. And this is quite a span. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting this over here, which means I've got to cut little slots in here so that this can hold firm into this structure. And for this one, where the, the beam is too short, it doesn't fit in here, I'm going to have to be doing the similar sort of thing over here, where I'm going to be cutting it off here, and I'm going to be recessing it in here so they don't run away, to give it enough strength so that if any cats or birds or anything handle lands on here, it's not going to fall down into the bed. And it'll give the netting enough strength to do that. So, having said that, let me first crack on, fix these beams into place, and then we'll have a look at what I've done after that. Okay, I've uh, got the framework up here, but I just want to show you what I've done here. You see, on these end of these beams, I've sort of made a little tiny notch out on both ends, and that now, when I slot it into space, into place, it'll keep the structure nice and firm as, as well. Like this. And it's, it's quite a strong, uh, tight uh, fitting structure. And then also, it'll now provide the, the protection. For this one, I've done a similar sort of thing, where I've slotted along here and on both ends. Now when I put it in place, it's not going to slide around and jiggle around, it's going to sit in place nice and tight, and so when I now drape the netting over, hopefully it'll stay there. This netting, the last time I used it, I found it extremely difficult and awkward to use. So now I've cut it off in strips, um, the sort of length that goes over the bars here, and I'm going to be cutting it open, and then I'm going to try and see um, you know, I'm going to cut it that it's not double, and then I'm going to try and see if, actually that will work fine on that one, um, and I'm going to tie it to the um, beams here, and um, see how it works from there. So let me get to that. Uh, see, what I'm going to be doing here is, I'm going to be taking this, and then just tying the netting to the structure, and... Um, well, basically hoping for the best. <laughs> now, over this gap, I'm going to have to build something separate that it'll just cover the gap because it's it's big enough to allow birds and cats into. But um, it, it should be a quite an easy job to fix that. Now, I'm going to carry on doing all the way through and um, around the structure to hopefully keep it in place. Um, I think this will be a much easier method of working with this. So, instead of watching me here tie a whole lot of, of knots, um, let me finish this and I'll come back to you when I'm finished and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, I just want to explain what I've done here now. I've taken the netting and I've stretched it across here and then I've tied it in place like this on all the corners in the far end on each far end and on the middle and then I've taken a piece at the bottom and I've done the same sort of thing now over here you can see I've put these grids to bridge, bridge the gap now this should do fine um, for, for, for a while but I've also done the same sort of thing here I've tied it all over together on the edges let me just unloose and do that Put that over there and these are designed that they can just lift up I'll show you just now but I've tied everything down on the base on the bases over here as well so that everything is secure and the netting is nicely stretched over the top now as you can see on the bottom here I've tied planks down here but I've also tied the netting to the inside of the legs here so this will weigh the netting down so that things can't get into. Over here I've used three separate pieces because I, I couldn't um, find another long piece as well as clamping this to the end. Now this whole structure is designed that it can just lift out over the side. This far end of the bed, um, where it's going to be joining the other bed, I've used more grids like this that I found lying around 
just to block it off so that I can grow in these beds without having necessarily these ones protected. But these ones also will just pull out and um, then I can get access into the bed. Now let me show you how the beds cantilever over. Okay, these protective coverings are designed to lift up and over like this so that I can just lay them down and then I can get access to the bed and I can work in the bed. When I've finished, I can just pull it back up over And there we have it. And the same principle on this one. It'll just lift up and over like that. Anyway, that's me done for today. It's been a really short video because I spent most of my time just tying up little knots and stretching things over. And um, tomorrow we'll start tackling that bed over there and what solutions I've got for yes. this. Yes! Please subscribe!